Hello, everyone. Welcome to part three of our uh, free video lesson, Introduction to Virtual Assistance, Virtual Assistance Unleashed, Navigating Remote Work with Confidence and Skill. It is our, um, it is actually our goal to empower you by giving you the right information. My name is Dave Lynn and I'm the founder of Virtual Force VA. Thank you so much. Um, if you haven't watched part one and part two yet, you may stop the video right now and uh, visit our Facebook page where you can find part one and part two to find more value in this uh, free video lesson. So without further ado, uh, let's start our lesson. So last, um, last two parts we discussed about or what we talked about was uh, what is a virtual assistant, We've also talked about ro roles and responsibilities of virtual assistant, skills and qualities of a successful virtual assistant, and setting up as a virtual assistant, and also building an effective online presence, finding clients, communication and client relationship, time management, and productivity. In this third part, we will discuss or we will tackle about tools and software of virtual assistant, ethics and confidentiality, continuous learning and professional development, scaling your virtual assistant's business, and uh, some case studies and success stories maybe next time. And also um, we will try to uh, make a video of the most commonly asked questions or frequently asked questions by virtual assistants. Okay, so let's go to tools and software for virtual assistants. We do have um, three major tools and software that uh, virtual assistants commonly use. One is for project management. Um, these are project management tools like Trello, Asana, et cetera. And then uh, communication tools, this is also important. We have Slack, Zoom, um, just to mention a few. And also time tracking and invoicing tools. So for project management tools, I've in, we've included um, the, the logo for Trello here. Uh, Trello is a visual, if you haven't uh, done your research yet, or if uh, you're not familiar with Trello, you may want to check it in Google. They have also um, free training on Trello. So um, if you, uh, Trello is a visual task management tool using boards, lists, and cards. Uh, this is ideal for organizing tasks, setting priorities, and tracking progress. This is also um, ideal when collaborating with clients and team members by sharing boards. Next project management tool that uh, you have to be familiar as a virtual assistant is Asana. Um, my team and I always use Asana. I found it, uh, Asana or Asana, I found it uh, very user-friendly. They have also um, free, yeah, I think it's free for, um, they have a free feature for Asana. So you can try it out, um, uh, register for free, and then uh, try it out for your future clients. Robust project management software with task assignments, due dates, and project timelines. They also offer a variety of views, including list, board, and calendar. And uh, they help facilitate communication and task updates within projects. This is also a wide topic. Um, uh, we, we can also make um, in the future, hopefully we can make a training um, training material or training video about how to use Trello, how to use Asana, those um, or, or some other project management tools. So um, stay tuned and uh, watch for it. Next is um, monday.com. I, I, um, I'm pretty sure most of you heard about monday.com. So they are a customizable work operating system to manage tasks, projects, and workflows, and also a visual and interactive platform for collaboration, task tracking, and project planning. So this is their, um, their logo. Next is ClickUp. ClickUp is another comprehensive platform combining task management, docs, and goal tracking. 
It offers features like time tracking, integrations, and automations. Again, if you want to learn more about these project management tools, uh, do your own research, go to uh, YouTube or go to Google, and um, you really have to learn about these project management tools. Most of our clients are looking for someone who, who are at least aware or are knowledgeable not really expert, but at least knowledgeable of how to use these tools. Next is, um, what are the communication tools most commonly used in virtual assistants? First is Slack, real-time messaging platform for team communication and collaboration. So this is their logo. And uh, they also organize conversations in channels, share files, and integrate with various apps. Of course, um, I think we're all familiar with Zoom. We um, Zoom is the most commonly used uh, communication tool, not just in virtual assistants, but also in our professional work or in the office. So Zoom is a video conferencing and webinar platform for virtual meetings. It also um, offers screen sharing, breakout rooms, and recording capabilities. Next is Microsoft Teams, okay? So collaboration, uh, Microsoft Teams is a collaboration hub within Microsoft 365 for chat, meetings, and file sharing. It also integrates seamlessly with other Microsoft tools. Of course, um, Google Meet is my favorite. We always use Google Meet. Video conferencing solution integrated with Google Workspace, support secure videos, video calls, screen sharing, and recording. They are um, both user-friendly, but I like Google Meet better. If, um, again, uh, be proactive in um, learning more about these tools, these can, uh, these can really help you in your virtual assistant uh, career. Um, time tracking and invoicing tools. What are these? First is Toggle. Uh, my team uses Toggle. So simple time tracking tool to monitor work hours on tasks and uh, projects. This is also their logo. And uh, they generate reports for clients or personal analysis. Next is Harvest. Harvest is a time tracking and invoicing software with integration options. They also um, create automated invoice based on track time. Next is FreshBooks. FreshBooks is an accounting and invoicing software with time tracking and expense management. Um, it also generates professional invoices and accepts online payments. Next is Wave. It's a free accounting and invoicing software for small businesses and freelancers. Also, um, it helps track time, creates invoices, and manage expenses. Another important reason why you should learn about these tools, most of your clients, um, some of your clients will not be familiar with, um, with these helpful tools. So sometimes um, they will ask the agency or they will ask the virtual assistant, it would be... Um, it would really be helpful for your clients if you know about these. Your client will uh, will really admire you or will really um, will really like you for uh, for suggesting these helpful tools that can help their business too. Okay, file sharing and storage. So, um, as a virtual assistant, is it it's very important to um, to know how to share your files and store your files too. So Google Drive is the most commonly used um, file sharing and storage, not just because it's free, but it's also user-friendly. It's a cloud-based storage for documents, spreadsheets, and files. Um, it collaborates in real time and share files with clients and colleagues. Dropbox, file hosting service uh, for secure storage and sharing files. It can easily share large files with clients and maintain organized folders. So again, Google Drive, familiarize yourself with Google Drive and also um, Dropbox. 
Okay, uh, moving on. So after the tools, and uh, those are just introduction of the tools and the software that um, a virtual assistant like you should be familiar. So um, if you want to learn more, you have, again, you have to be really proactive in learning those. And there are a lot of uh, tools and software that you have, you, that you can be familiar with. In our course, uh, we offer a very uh, wide list or a very long list of uh, those tools. So you may wanna check that out. Okay, um, ethics and confidentiality. This is really important, um, especially if you are, when you are a virtual assistant. Your client trusts you and uh, you are expected to be ethical when it comes to dealing with client. As a virtual assistant, you'll often uh, you'll often find yourself privy to sensitive information and entrusted with important tasks. It's important to uphold the highest ethical standards and prioritize client confidentiality. So in this section or in this uh, lesson, let's explore the significance of these principles and how they form the foundation of a trusted virtual assistant client relationship. Why maintaining client confidentiality is important. First is trust building. Maintaining client confidentiality is a cornerstone of building trust. Clients need assurance that uh, their sensitive information, such as business strategies, financial data, or proprietary uh, processes will remain secure. As a business owner, it's very important to, um, to build trust. It's between you and, uh, and the client. Of course, uh, legal and ethical obligations. Many industries have legal requirements regarding data protection and confidentiality. Virtual assistants must comply with these regulations to avoid legal consequences. So uh, there will come a time some clients re will really require you to sign an NDA or um, non-disclosure agreement, okay? And the uh, those uh, non-disclosure agreement, once you sign it, it has legal impact if, um, if you don't comply with the, with the non-disclosure agreement. Importance of maintaining client also is maintaining clients' uh, confidentiality is of course your reputation. Upholding confidentiality enhances your professional reputation. Clients are more likely to recommend your services and provide positive testimonials if they trust you with their confidential data. Handling sensitive information responsibility. Okay, um, so there are many factors when it comes to handling sensitive information uh, responsibly. They have what they call, what we call uh, data encryption and storage. So sometimes, um, if you belong to a big company, or if you're if you're in a in um, if you have a bigger business client, they have data encryption and storage. They implement robust, um, more robust security measures to protect their data, such as encryption and secure storage solutions. They ensure that access is restricted to authorized personnel only. And of course, uh, like I mentioned, the non-disclosure agreements or NDAs, um, consider using NDAs with clients to legally bind both parties to confidentiality. This adds an extra layer of protection. So familiarize yourself with NDA. Again, um, most clients require NDA. Uh, like like our agency, whenever um, whenever we hire a new virtual assistant, I require them to sign an NDA or non disclosure agreement. Secure communication. Use secure communication channels and avoid discussing sensitive matters on unsecured platforms. Encourage clients to use encrypted communication tool. Data retention and disposal. Establish policies for the retention and secure disposal of client data when it's no longer needed. This prevents data breaches and ensures compliance with privacy regulations. Again, um, so data security is very wide topic as well. Uh, as I mentioned, this is just an introduction. At least you have an idea or um, 
for now, for now, you will have an idea that um, data security is also um, one of the important things that a virtual assistant must be aware of when um, when performing duties as uh, as a virtual assistant. So let's move on to continuous learning and professional development. As virtual assistant, staying updated with industry trends, mastering new tools, and enhancing your skills are pivotal to your success. We'll, uh, we'll delve into the practical aspects of staying current, including online courses, workshops, certifications, and leveraging the wealth of resources available to you. So um, as a virtual assistant, it is your responsibility to stay relevant, okay? Um, wag kang magpahuli sa mga bagong virtual assistant ngayon. To stay relevant, you have to be you have to stay updated with industry trends. If um, if you have just been doing administrative uh, tasks before, you might as well consider learning um, social media management, SEO or search engine optimization or, um, or lead generation. So be proactive in learning. There are free courses out there that you can take if um, um, if you are curious, if you join our Facebook group, I provided a long list of free courses. Those are free courses that um, virtual assistant can actually take. Okay, those are additional learning for you. You may not be able to get certificates for those, but uh, most of them also offer a certificate of completion. But um, uh, you can you can mention them in your um, in your resume or in your portfolio that you took um, you went to extra miles extra miles of uh, going and learning about a virtual assistant or virtual assistants. Okay, so again, uh, continuous learning and professional development is really important. Staying updated with industry trends and tools. Dynamic industry landscape. Um, the virtual assistant has a very dynamic industry landscape. It's um, it's continually evolving with new technologies, tools, and trends. Staying current is essential to remain competitive. So before uh, copywriting, let's say for example in copywriting and content uh, creation. Before we do we do content creation manually and copywriting manually. But again, there comes, uh, there came uh, Chat GPT, there came Jasper, or um, if I'm not mistaken, it's uh, conversion.io, something like that. So um, knowing those tools or knowing, um, knowing the new tools or trends will uh, make you stay current. If um, some, most of the clients now are now asking um, if you're familiar with ChatGPT, if you've, you've used uh, Jasper before, because it also helps their business. It, it makes you more efficient and um, it will cost them less to, um, to use those tools rather than, um, rather than paying to, uh, to copywriters, okay? So another is market relevance. Clients seek virtual assistants who are knowledgeable about the latest industry developments. Being up-to-date demonstrates your commitment to providing valuable services. So uh, one of the common questions, um, halimbawa mag apply ka as virtual assistants. As a virtual assistant, one common question is, how are you, um, how do you stay relevant? with uh, new technologies, tools, and trends. So you have to be able to answer that question, okay? Next is tool proficiency. As virtual assistants, proficiency in the latest productivity tools, project management software, and communication platforms is crucial. Um, clients expect efficiency and expertise in these areas. The, the tools that I mentioned earlier, like project management software, Asana, Monday.com, um, clients are expecting you to, to have um, at least knowledge, if not expertise in those areas, okay? So networking opportunities. 
engaging in industry events um, is another way to um, to stay relevant and also to to grow your knowledge. Engaging in industry events, webinars, and online forum allows you to connect with peers, share insights, and learn from other um, experiences. Okay. All right. So um, online courses, workshops, and certifications. So again, um, we do have online courses. Offer we offer online courses. Um, again, um, it's very affordable. We've um, it's it's crafted by a real virtual assistant agency based here in Canada. So we know we know both sides. We know what client needs, and we know what um, what 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 should a virtual assistant uh, really learn? Really should learn before um, before before really or so that uh, he or she will become an effective virtual assistant, okay? So skill enhancement, enrolling in online courses and workshops helps you enhance your skill set. You can learn new skills or deepen existing ones, such as um, there are courses for time management, uh, communication courses or communication skills enhancement, or specialized virtual assistant skills like um, if you want to become an e-commerce virtual assistant, um, we're developing this course. It's a specialized course for e-commerce virtual assistant only. And also we're developing a course right now for social media virtual assistant too. Certifications, um, earning relevant certifications such as certified virtual assistant or project management certificates adds credibility to your profile and reassures clients of your expertise. We have, um, like I mentioned earlier, we have this uh, list of free courses. It's free. You just have to sign up and then um, it will be sent to your email. It's a whole list of um, all free courses that you can take as a virtual assistant. And um, we do have a lot of project management courses there. And again, it's free. So flexible learning, online courses and workshops offer, offer flexibility, allowing you to learn at your own pace and fit professional development into your schedule. Specialization, some courses offer opportunities to specialize in areas like social media management, email marketing, or e-commerce support, enabling you to target specific client needs. Cost-effective learning. Online courses often uh, cost less than uh, traditional in-person training. So online courses, um, so uh, in-person training, making professional development accessible to a broader audience. Napakabihira na lang ng umaaten ng mga in-person training. I think uh, most courses nowadays are are offered um, online. Okay, resource availability. The internet provides a wealth of free resources, including webinars, tutorials, and blogs to keep you informed about industry trends and best practices. I think um, nowadays, in in the, with the power of internet. I don't think uh, meron pang dahilan para hindi ka matuto on your own pace, at your own way. So it's just a matter of um, really being proactive, finding the right um, information, and also finding, uh, finding the right resources, where to find it, and uh, finding valuable resources, not just any resources, okay? So... Um, wag tayong masasilaw sa mga murang courses pero hindi naman makakatulong sa iyo or hindi naman siya valuable, okay? Um, tinipid mo nga yung sarili mo but still um wala ka namang natutunan and hindi naman siya relevant dun sa um sa sa goal mo na matuto ka about virtual assistance. So it's really up to you, okay? But uh one thing is for sure resources are always available. Internet is there. It's just a matter for you to, um, to find the right resources. Okay, uh, scaling your virtual assistance business. So um, as you gain experience and grow in your role, marami ka ng experience, marami ka ng naging clients, 
you will inevitably reach a point where you consider expanding your operations. So good job, um, dumami na ang client mo, marami ka ng experience. So you're now thinking of expanding or scaling your virtual assistant business. Scaling involves strategic decisions that can lead to increased productivity, revenue, and impact. So in this segment, uh, we'll explore two key aspects of scaling. Hiring additional assistants. So uh, that I think is a point that you really need to hire or outsource another help or another virtual assistant to support your workload and expanding your services to attract a broader uh, client base. Hiring additional assistants. Um, meron na kong mga nababasa na nagpo-post na I really need uh, someone na makakapag-assist sa akin. So they came to a point na uh, sobrang daming na nilang task and um, uh, kaya na nilang mag-outsource, i-outsourcing services or kaya na nilang um, humanap ng assistance. Next is delegating task. As your workload grows, hiring additional virtual assistants can help you delegate tasks and responsibilities freeing up your time for higher level work, okay? So, um, merong time na darating na hindi ka na lang kailangan mag-administrative work or mag-social media management. There will come a time na uh, mas high level na ang, ang pwede mong gawin. You can be a project manager or you can be a, a recruiter. So, so yun, yung mga uh, magiging, magiging progress mo from uh, being, a, being a virtual assistant um, to project manager and then after project manager pero pwede ka na rin maging operations manager okay next is specialization consider hiring assistants with um, specialized skills or in specific niches to offer a broader range of services to clients so um, kapag nag-hire ka naman um, consider then yung specialization nila. Does it match with uh, what the client needs or um, does it match with the specific niche of the client. So, um, i-consider mo rin ang specialization nila. Training and onboarding. Um, this is to ensure a smooth integration process by providing comprehensive training and clear onboarding procedures for new team members. Kapag um, hindi ka na lang virtual assistant, when you need to outsource or when you need help, you have to know how to train and onboard them effectively and efficiently. Okay? Client management. Delegate client management tasks to assistants while you focus on uh, strategic client relationships and business development. Okay, so expanding your um, next topic is expanding your services and uh, client base. Service diversification. So again, uh, from administrative task, like social media, kana, and then you learn um, more about graphic design, and then after graphic design, na curious ka about writing content, so you became a blogger or copywriter, and then after copywriter, you decided na, oi, maruno ka palang mag ano mag uh, search engine optimization, and then uh, since my background ka in graphic design, you also learned how to web or design a website or web designing, so. Those are example of diversification. You explore new service offerings within your expertise to meet a wider range of client needs. It's not just um, client needs, but also more profit for you as a virtual assistant, since um, the more skills you have, the more profit you will have. So for example, if you'd been focused on administrative tasks, like I said earlier, consider adding social media management or content writing services. So yun na yung uh, magiging um, uh, steps mo towards um, success and higher higher income. Targeting new niches, niches. So before you're just um, appointment setter, administrative task, data entry. Now um, target mo naman ang ibang niche. Gusto mo ng uh, mag content uh, content creation or even even all types of content creation. Okay, so identify and tap niches or industries that could benefit from your virtual assistant services. Tailor your marketing efforts to these sectors. So kung ang, um, kung ang target mo are real estate business, you have to tailor your, uh, your services 
based on what are what are the needs of a real estate business, okay? Marketing and branding. When you're expanding your services and uh, when you're expanding your client base, marketing and branding are really important. Invest in marketing strategies to reach a broader audience, like uh, updating your website, creating compelling content, uh, create contents, and then uh, utilize social media to attract new clients. So going back to our um, uh, lesson about social media, so this is this is actually part of marketing and branding by utilizing or optimizing your social media profiles and website. Next is networking and partnerships. Lagi nating sinasabi networking, partnership, um, relate, building relationship. These are very important when you're a virtual assistant. You build partnerships with other businesses. Kasi referral yan eh. Pwede, pwede silang mag-refer sa'yo, pwede ka nilang um, i-refer sa ibang businesses na kakilala nila na another business din. Okay? Agencies or professionals to expand your client network and tap into their client base. Okay, so um, I think that's uh, that's it for our introduction to virtual assistants. Um, I really appreciate your time. So again, um, if you haven't watched part one and part two yet, please do so. Um, I really suggest to start from the very beginning, which is the the um, the yung talagang umpisa ng uh, virtual assistant, what is a virtual assistant, evolution of a virtual assistant, um, roles and responsibilities of a virtual assistant before going to um, scaling scaling your uh, virtual assistant business. So thank you for listening and always reach out for any questions. Um, our email address is, in, is info at virtualforestaffing.com. We have um, social media. So let me just... Um, stop sharing my screen. Let me share another. Um, okay, hold on. Let me just stop sharing and then. All right, so um, let me just uh, give you an idea of
Thanks. So this is the screen that I actually want to share with you. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach us uh, to reach to us at um, info at virtualforestaffing.com. And uh, if you're a business owner right now who is in need of a virtual assistant, so feel free to um, go to our website. It's actually in our Facebook page. Just uh, click the link there in our bio, in our Instagram, in our TikTok account, in LinkedIn account. We have um, we we ask a certain question here. Are you ready to hire a VA today? And then um, you have to answer this questionnaire. So again, um, we also have a, um, a link for all our services here. And if you're ready to become a virtual assistant, which is what this training is for, you have to, um, you can check our affordable virtual assistant courses crafted by a real virtual assistant agency. Just to show you how it looks like, um, we have the virtual assistant accelerator and also we have the virtual assistant starter kit. So if, um, if you may, um, if I may show you, so this is just 999.99. Uh, it's a very, very affordable price. It's, a, it's in Philippine peso. And what is included in this course, it has uh, 10 comprehensive modules designed to guide you through launching a successful VA career from scratch. Um, each module is equipped with pra practical exams and quizzes designed to provide you with hands-on learning and interactive assessments for a well-rounded understanding of the material. And also uh, we have templates, checklists, and resources to support your journey and establish a, a successful VA career. And of course, uh, a whole lot more. We have module one and four, five, eight. Uh, we have exercises. And uh, these are the templates that you can actually get. And uh, these are very expensive templates, by the way. And uh, we're just, uh, we're, we're giving it away here in the, in the course. It's, they're, they're actually included. And uh, this is the list of free courses that I was telling you, but you can also find this in our uh, Facebook group. And then uh, these are the free bonuses or bonuses that we're offering um, when you buy this course. We offer um, 60 day social media content ideas. It's very challenging to think uh, what to post every day. And also um, free guideline for VA when meeting a new client. This will really help you. And then um, we have the free virtual assistant checklist. Of course, um, you'll gain, you'll have access to our Facebook group, which is um, a community of uh, a Facebook community where we share um, free resources, practical tips um, for you to become an effective virtual assistant. And also, of course, a group coaching session. So unlocking your full potential in the world of virtual assistants you can join our um, coaching program. And of course, it has uh, this course, um, have full time, a uh, full lifetime access. You can also access this course on mobile and TV. And uh, of course, you can get certificate of completion, which is something to brag about um, to your future client that, hey, I took this course from a, a legit um, VA agency in Canada. Okay, so yeah, that's our first course. And also we have another course, which is um, a shorter course, but very valuable too. It's a virtual assistant starter kit, which costs um, 499.99 in pesos. Okay, so there are a lot of uh, things included in this course too. And also um, templates, checklists, and important resources. Also um, certificate of completion is included. So yeah, uh, that's it. That's it for now. Thank you so much uh, for watching. Again, uh, please watch part one and part two. I hope you found uh, you find value in this um, free video lesson about introduction to virtual assistants. We're actually in the works. Uh, the 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 other videos are actually in the works, and also the other courses are in the works too. So hopefully, um, hopefully you can join us. Please check our uh, Facebook page to join our Facebook group, and also um, 
I hope you, you'll find more value because we post uh, valuable content in that Facebook group too. So thank you again and uh, uh, keep awesome, stay awesome and keep hustling. Thank you so much. Bye.